Surely you are joking, Mr. Feynman, by Richard P. Feynman. Richard Phillips Feynman was an American theoretical physicist. For his contribution to the development of quantum electrodynamics, Feynman received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1965. Surely you are joking, Mr. Feynman, by Richard P. Feynman. While this book is hilarious and intriguing, it definitely gives enough ground for introspection. Feynman's curious experimentative narration of his childhood endeavors is a learning for the academicians of today. Instead of loading students with theories on physics and other subjects, it would be so wonderful if children learned physics in an experimentative way. When you read this book, you would know. Richard P. Feynman had a brilliant mind since childhood which was backed by his knowledge of basic application Richard Feynman was born in 1918 in a small town called Far Rockaway right on the outskirts of New York when he was 17 years he went to MIT and then to Princeton part 1 of the book from Far Rockaway to MIT he fixes radios by thinking I'm quoting from the book to give you an insight of this brilliant mind since childhood. When I was about 11 or 12, I set up a lab in my house. It consisted of an old wooden packing box that I put shelves in. I had a heater and I put in fat and cook french fried potatoes all the time. I also had a storage battery and a lamp bank. To build the lamp bank, I went down to the 5 and 10 and got some sockets. you can screw down to a wooden base and connected them to pieces of bell wire by taking different combinations of switches in series or parallel i knew i could get different voltages while reading this description three instant reactions hit my mind at the age of 11 and 12 did we know battery configuration do children of today in that age know it honestly i don't know the answers to these questions opt in my mind if they don't know they should know and if they don't have a mini lab in their house they should we can eliminate the heater part from this the thought of 11 year old making french fries on a heater is scary quoting more from this book elucidating the mini laboratory i had a fuse in the system so if i shortened anything the fuse would blow now i had to have a fuse that was weaker than the fuse in the house so i made my own fuse by taking tin foil and wrapping it around an old burnt out fuse across my fuse i had a 5 watt bulb so when my fuse blew the load from the trickle charger that was always charging the storage battery would light up the bulb this is an idea for all budding entrepreneurs those who are loading children with online material and online classes there is no substitute to practical learning and there is no greater service than making practical learning fun this might ignite the interest in the hearts of children paving way to them becoming scientists cosmologists innovators never know what How I wish someone could have introduced me to cosmology at a young age. Now I write fantasy fiction stories revolving around cosmos. Coming back to Richard Feynman, quoting from the book. One day I had a call. Mister, are you Richard Feynman? Yes. This is a hotel. We have a radio that doesn't work and would like it repaired. We understand you might be able to do something about it. But I'm only a little boy, I said. I don't know. Yes, we know that. But we'd like you to come over anyway. It was a hotel my aunt was running, but I didn't know that. I went over there with they still tell the story, a big screw driver in my back pocket. All at an 11 year old. He did repair the radio there. He continued to repair radios with his own experimentative learning. Quoting Richard Feynman in the book, radio circuits were easy to understand in those days because everything was out in the open. Sometimes it took quite a while. I remember one particular time when I took the whole afternoon. So I got a fancy repetition. 
Once he was called to repair a radio, he mentally figured out the configuration and then solved the problem. That is when he got the repetition, he fixed his radios by thinking. More is coming on Richard P. Feynman. Be online. Keep reading. Bye.